do think that Chinese reopening and the bottoming of Chinese growth is one of the three main themes in, in 2023. We, we do think that means ultimately some further upside in the currency, but we don't think the currency is the most obvious uh, place to play it because we will have, once the reopening uh, gets underway properly, we will have a tug of war between the currency positive impact, which is particularly the pickup in growth and probably rising interest rates in, uh, in China as well, finally, against probably a reduction in the extremely, still extremely high uh, trade surplus as Chinese import demand goes up. So we think there will be mixed signals for the currency over time. And in fact, in the currency space, Chinese reopening, we think, is probably better expressed by some of the currencies of Chinese neighbors, uh, like, in, like in Thailand, uh, maybe further out in Asia, uh, Korea, uh, India uh, come to mind as well. And, in, and in within G10, maybe some of the commodity exporting countries within uh, uh, the Antipodean countries as well. Again, for CNHCNY, we think sure. it's going to be a positive but it probably won't be a, a strong positive and not the most obvious play to express uh, the reopening theme. Let's talk about the Indian currency, Indian rupee, because it has only been sliding, even though domestically the economy is holding up and is being touted as one of the fastest growing economies this year, despite all the headwinds. So we think thematically there is a lot of interest in in the Indian currency. I should say I, uh, my, my colleagues on the EM uh, focus strategy part at, 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 at City look at it in more granular detail. But the thematic interest is that uh, comparatively, certainly in comparison to a lot of the, let's call it riskier G10 currencies, India does offer appealing uh, carry. There's this whole concept of French shoring uh, and uh, you know the overall environment we think more broadly for uh, Asian FX is going to become much more supportive in 2023, but it's still going to be overall a relatively challenging environment uh, due to some of the factors that President George just uh, just mentioned in the in the clip you played, inflation is still high. Uh, central banks around the world are trying to uh, bring down demand, and we think that's still a challenging environment for risk assets more broadly, and that tends to uh, impact INR as well. So you said that you don't think the renminbi is the best way to play China's reopening. What is? So we think in the in, in the currency space, it's probably the Thai baht or the Korean won. Again, for us as a, a G10 focused uh, team, we actually think the euro will benefit uh, in the end uh, greatly. Uh, so uh, it, it does play into what we think will be a, a rebound in, in, in euro, including euro dollar towards the end of the year. But probably the biggest uh, impulse uh, overall in currency space will be, will be, for example, in Korea or in, or in Thailand, where the benefits will be both on the export side, tourism, but also an element of capital outflows to these right. uh, countries.